Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1976 long-listed problem 33, proposed by the Soviet Union. We wish to prove that if P of xy is a polynomial in two variables, satisfying this condition, P of x minus 1 comma y minus 2x plus 1 equals P of x comma y, then P can be expressed as Q of y minus x squared, where Q is a polynomial in one variable. So here are my hints for this problem. First, replace y by y plus x squared in our functional equation. And now consider u of xy to be P of x comma x squared plus y. Notice that then obviously u is a polynomial in two variables with complex coefficients. It was not specified by, but let's work in complex numbers. And notice that if a polynomial v in one variable attains the same value infinitely many times, then it must be constant because any polynomial can have only finitely many uh, roots. And that should be enough. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so let's take our functional equation and let's replace, let's replace, let's replace uh, y by x, by y plus x squared in our condition asterisk. Notice that then then we have the following p of x minus 1 y plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals p of x mm, y plus x squared and also notice that we can write p of x minus 1 y and these three terms can be combined into x minus 1 squared equals p of x y plus x squared. All right, and now we see that both sides are a bit similar. Uh, namely, here we have x, x squared, here we have x minus 1, x minus 1 squared. This suggests that we should consider the following. Let u of x, y be p of x y plus x squared. Notice that then, first of all, for sure u is again a, po a polynomial in two variables, and moreover, our functional equation, and this equation right here, double asterisk, double asterisk becomes, becomes the following u of x minus 1 y equals u of x y. All right. In particular, in particular, notice the following, that u of 0 y equals u of 1 y equals u of 2 y and so on and so on and so on because first we replace x by 1 then we replace x by 2 we set x to be 3 and so on and we get this chain of equalities and notice that if we consider uh, that for any fixed for any fixed complex number y u with first argument uh, empty, this is really a, a polynomial, is a polynomial is a polynomial in one variable, which is which attains the same value infinitely many times infinitely many 
times. Well, this is only possible if this polynomial is constant. It means that function which takes complex number x and returns u of x, y, this function must be constant. Must be constant, i.e., i.e., u of x, y, must be equal q of y. Because it's constant with respect to x, but not necessarily with respect to y. All right. Notice that, well, then, of course, then q uh, is a polynomial in one variable. Q is a polynomial in one variable. And let's go back, because what is u of x, y? u of x, y is p of x, y plus x squared. p of x, y plus x squared equals q of y. And finally, let's replace, let's replace y by y minus x squared, sort of backwards, in our condition, which I will mark triple asterisk. Then, then, notice that then p of x, y equals q of y minus x squared, which is exactly what we wanted to demonstrate. And that closes our problem. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.